Hello everyone and welcome to Gaming with Characters. I'm your host Mephisto and today we'll be playing Slender the Arrival. Now, a monster pulls us down the house, not a bargain. And when you find yourself alone as he casts out that beguiling thing, how far will it carry you? Okay, so I hold L2 to run. Now everyone, today we're going to be playing this game with a new friend. Or rather an old friend to me, but fairly new to you. Say hi, buddy. Like, okay! Hi, guys! Like, this is Norbert! Yep, Norbert, everyone. Like, okay, uh... 555-7273. That's your sister. You've come to help her sell this house. Your name is Lauren. Like, that's cool. Let's get on with this game. Okay, so as you all know, and as Norbert does not. Wait, what? This is a horror game. Like, oh great. Of course it is. So, um, like, what's the game about? You are a woman named Lauren, who has come to help her sister Kate sell your old house. Like, okay? And unfortunately, she has been found by something. Like, what do you mean by something? She has been found by an old creepypasta. You remember the Slender Man? Like, who the heck lives even this far out? Apparently your sister does. Or you did. In the past. Don't know, really. Like, okay, so... There's that! Um... What in the world? A uh, tree's and a tall man. Yep. Like, okay, this is kind of creepy already. Like the phone's dead. For coming out all this way to help me out, it's been a pretty rough road trying to sell this whole place. I wish I'd turn to you sooner. You have no idea how happy I'll be once this is all behind me. Love you always, Kate. Like, okay? Um. So where am I going? Hmm. Like that wasn't cheery at all. No, it wasn't. Please don't do that again. Zero new messages. One old message. Hey, Kate. It's the R again. I hope everything's okay. I know there's been a lot to take in and wrap your head around. Like, okay. Through, okay. This is really freaky. Take a load yes, you. you're right. It is really freaky. Chance, you know. okay. So, tell me, tell me something. Like, yeah. What's your opinion so far? Like, really creepy! Like, I just said that! Okay. I mean, something for me other than really creepy. No! I don't! Well, you gotta hurry then and do this, man. I mean, come on, we're on a tight schedule here. Like, I... I can't see, though. I... I know, but... Honoring the life of Beth Hayes. October 10th, 2009, at a cemetery, of course. So, did you just bring me here because I sound a little bit like Shaggy? No. Like, what am I supposed to be doing here? I'm supposed to be finding the... Man, the game has turned up on this. I'm supposed to be finding a flashlight right now. Flashlight, batteries, extra tapes, lighter, kerosene, and lock the house. Oh no. Yep. But dude, come on, we're on a schedule here. Like I'm looking. Okay, keep looking, please. But a little bit faster. Um. Like the gamma in this thing is way too bright. 
Sorry, I couldn't see. Well, neither can I! And neither can your audience! Yeah, I'm sorry about that, guys. I had to turn the game up really bright when I tried to play this once. Because I couldn't see a darn thing. Okay, so let's go ahead and... Uh... Let's take that gamma down a little bit. Nope! Okay, or not, according to Norbert, who decided that we will not be turning the gamma down. If something's coming after me, I want to see it. Thanks for calling last night. It probably sounds dumb, but it was good to hear your voice again. Good to hear that Lauren's doing really well. But yeah, about what we all sa always said, I'm not sure th what to think of it yet. What are the odds of two people having the exact same hallucination? Could it really just be a coincidence? I have to go to my doctor for some routine stuff. Routine stuff. So I'm going to try and casually bring this up and see what he says about it. I'll see, let you know how it goes. Good, a flashlight. Um... Well, this is kind of spooky, guys. Yep. Keep going. Uh, so I found some keys. Okay. Now what? Keep going. Keep going. We waste an entire video just searching this stupid house, aren't we? Um. This house is really echoey. Yes, it is. That makes it dark, and I don't like that. Okay. What in the world was that? You don't want to know. Like, okay. Um. Nope. Like, okay, Mephisto. Let's, let's be done with this. Nope. We're going to keep going. Of course we are. Why wouldn't we just be done with it? Because that would be way too easy. Oh, and that's wonderful. The door's locked. Out the front door, then. That's probably not a good idea, but hey. Like, let's get out of here! I'm in full agreement, believe me. Like, why do I run so slow? I don't know. Just do. Well, that's not nice. I don't know, but the gamers want it to be a survival horror, not exactly a an action adventure where you're constantly running away from him. But isn't that like what I'm doing now? Well, yeah, I mean, I guess technically speaking, you are just kind of running away. But hey, it happens, you know? I mean, you're, you're scared, you're scared. Like, yeah, I am scared. And you should be too. Well, I am a little bit scared. Like, what is that? Um, I would ignore it. Oh, really? You would just ignore this? Okay, yeah, let's ignore it for now. <laughs> let's ignore it, Mephisto. Yeah, let's just ignore it. Keep on moving. Like, where do these lights go? Oh, good. They just end here. That's wonderful. And then, of course, there's Mr. Spooky Pants up ahead. That wants to kill us. You. Right, me. No. Like, okay, Mr. Spooky, you can go away now. Yes, please, go, go very far away. I kind of want to turn around to see if he's behind me. They'll stay pretty far away from you for the beginning from what I heard. Well, that's good at least. Yeah, but I'd keep moving if I were you. You really don't want him catching up to you. No! I really don't! Uh, move the stove? Yes. I'm really creeped out. Good, that's kind of what we were going for here. That's why it's a Halloween special. Oh yeah. Right, Halloween special. 
This is just me running from him. Yep. That's basically what I intended this to be. So you knew this was gonna happen! Of course I knew this was gonna happen. That's why I chose you. You love horror games. Um... Well, I wouldn't exactly say love, but... But you play them a lot, for some reason. Like, yeah, I know. Okay. You don't love them. Nope, never mind. We're not going in there. We're just gonna keep on moving. Um... Uh, okay. You see him? No, I can't see anything. You're jerking that thing around too much. Okay. Uh, 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 um. Seriously, you need to stop running around. Like, what was that? I don't know. Outside park! Well, good! So, Mr. Spooky can kill us at a park. Um, okay, and yet you're going inside. I mean, I'm kind of creeped out, honestly. Um... Look what just happened! Oh! So we're now getting into the real game. I guess so. With Oakside housing prices on the rise, many longtime residents are putting their homes up for sale in hopes of gaining a substantial profit and relocating closer to the foothills. Well... What? I'm sorry, guys. Aw, oh, man, are you serious? Yep, we used up all of the episode just trying to get here. Aw, oh, man, well, I'm sorry, guys. That's okay, it doesn't matter. Well, thank you, everybody, for watching this video. Yeah, guys, thanks! It means a lot to us. That means a lot more to me than to him, because he's not really part of the channel's big kind of, you know, stuff, but... Hey! Anyway... Thank you guys for watching this episode. Tell me what you think about it in the comments down below. And if you enjoyed the episode, want to see more Slender the Arrival, or more of Norbert, then go ahead and smash that like button, and remember to hit subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Later! Like, yeah! We'll see you next time, guys!